Hi guys, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to replace an outside corner piece of vinyl siding. And the reason we're replacing this particular one today is, as you can see, it had a run-in with my snowblower. I was trying to get too close to the asphalt and clipped it. And over the last couple of years, that crack has grown in size. So I'm tired of looking at it, and cosmetically, I'm going to improve it. What I did was I went out and bought another piece of vinyl siding outside corner after measuring and the measurement on the broken piece is 78 inches they send I'm sorry they sell them in 10 foot sections and here's a 10 foot section so the measurement on the old piece of outside corner vinyl siding is 78 inches so I will mark this to 78 inches and cut it where appropriately. Uh, I will use a hacksaw that's typically made for metal and it'll work fine on this piece of plastic. I've used hacksaws on plastic before. And I will make one more adjustment when I do cut the outside corner. And that adjustment is going to be to modify a portion of this outside corner which I'll show you now it'll make sense later as I start as I start videoing uh, the demolition of the existing outside corner so as you can see there are portions of the inside of this outside corner that has attachments to J channel we won't be using those attachments in this because uh, they're just not applicable uh, you'll have to take off the entire corner in order to do it appropriately. So this is going to be a quick fix and it'll be cosmetically the same as if we did attach it and take off the entire corner from both sides. This piece, as you can see, where my finger is, the very edge, there is a lip and a, a route. So I will cut this, the entire length going through from this point forward. All I need is this lip, which is about a half of inch half of an inch long to grab the existing J channel, which is on both corners. And I'll do that on both sides. I'll do it here. This will remain intact. And this point where my finger is forward and down will be cut off with a utility razor, a very sharp utility razor. So be careful as you're doing this. And uh, it'll all make sense when I start the demolition again of the existing outside corner. So let me start by doing the demolition of the outside corner. Some people don't know how to unattach that outside corner because you're really not going to unattach it. You're going to cut it off because again, the existing J channel on both sides of this vinyl siding and going around the corner on this portion are attached to J channel. This corner is pre-attached and the inside pieces are attached later. So we're going to sidestep that because just too cost, just too costly and time consuming to uh, take off the entire corner, uh, regardless of how small, it's not necessary. And I'll show you how we could sidestep that. So let me start with the demolition. Hi guys, okay, here we go. This is the outside corner I was referencing earlier. And I have a utility knife, which is all we need. Just make sure the blade is, is plenty sharp. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna start an incision going from the top all the way down. And I'm going to keep my cut line about an inch and a quarter from the extreme corner edge. And when I cut all the way down, I'll be able to slide the left side of the cutoff and the entire right side of the cutoff. And let's start. Now be careful not to cut yourself. Don't slip off of your groove. I'm cutting all the way down. And you'll have to go over a couple of spots that the blade didn't actually cut great on, but that's okay. This and the very top is the hard trickiest part because you really can't get in there. Okay, as you can see, we split it. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, last you saw, I 
split the existing outside corner, exposing the inside and obviously the insulation on the house. Now, what I'm going to do is, what we're going to do is we're going to use a portion of this outside corner to attach the new outside corner to. We're going to use the J channel, the extreme edge of the J channel portion of the old outside corner, this portion that I'm holding with my fingers, where it curves, it's, you can see I'm putting my finger underneath, curves around and stops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, from the inside, cut with the utility knife, the inside I'm going to cut, and I'm not sure if you can see that because I know there's a lot of shade in the corner here. I'm going to go way inside and where my finger is, at the very edge, I'm just gonna take a utility knife and go all the way down from the top, all the way down to the bottom, okay? And you'll see what I'm left with when I complete that cut. And I'm gonna do that cut on both sides. I'm going to go inside, as far as I can reach inside here with my utility knife, I'm going to cut the extreme edge all the way down and I'll remove this and remove this and I'll be left with the outside portion of the J channel, which I'll use to put the new outside corner on after I show you a couple modifications I'll make to the new outside corner. It'll all make sense uh, as it comes together. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I did the cuts, both cuts to both sides that I said I would do. And I wanna show you what I'm left with. What I'm left with is the, the flat portion or the lip portion of the J channel that was attached as one piece to the outside corner that I cut off. Because we're going to use that portion of the J channel to reattach the new outside corner. And again, what we're avoiding here is we're avoiding taking off all this vinyl siding to my left and all the vinyl siding to my right. Even though it's between my garage door and the outside corner, still don't want to do that if I can avoid it. It's a longer process and uh, more involved and I'm just not ready for that project. So this is going to be, the finished product will be uh, just as strong and uh, and cosmetically appealing to the eye as if I were to have taken all of the uh, vinyl siding off. So, and again, didn't want to do that for obvious reasons, guys. That's what we're trying to do. Quick fixes and uh, with the same outcome. So again, I have on both sides the portion. Now it has to look like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. The line doesn't have to be perfectly straight going down because what we're using here, guys, is we're using this portion. You can see I'm sticking my finger behind here. Okay, it's about three quarters of an inch. And this portion on the outside where the, the cut was made uh, doesn't really matter because the I'm going to modify the existing, I'm sorry, the new piece of uh, outside corner to want to wrap around here. And it'll wrap around here. It'll wrap around the left side as well because again, I made the same exact cuts on the, uh, on the left side. And we're going to have a, uh, the inside lip of the existing J channel on the new piece. And I'll show you as I cut that, how it's going to wrap in here and, and form a tight and snug fit. And at the very end, you won't even know that I replaced the outside corner. So let me get going with that. And then we'll, uh, we'll show you what I'm doing with the, uh, with the outside corner that I just purchased after again, and I'm going to show you where it is. Here's the outside corner I purchased. It's 10 feet long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 78 inches and cut it at the 78 inch mark. I don't have to show you how to do that because everybody knows how to cut something. I'm going to come back in a few minutes, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, where I left off was I cut the existing corner uh, piece, uh, the outside corner of the vinyl siding off. I showed you where to make the final cuts to accommodate the new piece of outside corner 
to go on and there it is and as you can see it was 10 feet long now it's 78 inches long and we're uh we're ready to make the final modifications to this outside corner to accommodate going on the existing um uh, outside corner that's being repaired and with all the uh with the aspects of the uh the pre-attached J channel from the uh, pre-existing outside corner, uh, which we're going to utilize to attach this uh, new piece. Now, what we're going to do, and I want to get, make sure there's good light, and I think this is perfect, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to be using, and I'm going to show you with the tip of this razor, we're going to be using this portion. See this loop, this long U? We're going to be using that to reattach. It's going to form a, uh, basically, it's going to clip on almost like plug and play. We're gonna cut from here, this portion, all the way down the line, all the way down. Underneath, we're going to cut that entire piece off. So this piece from here, I'm sorry, this piece from here where the tip of my razor is, all the way around to here is going to be cut off. We're not gonna be utilizing that in the, uh, in the application. And that's the whole reason for this, uh, this video. And uh, again, on this side, just to be clear, from the tip of my razor, where I'm showing the very tip, all around here to this portion at the bottom, we're gonna be cutting off. So I'm gonna be running my razor, basically, as you can see, down the entire inseam at this portion, because we want to, again, utilize this whole loop this whole loop going down, that's going to be our attaching point. And then I'll show you how we, uh, how we attach it and what we do. I, and what I do is I run a couple of short, few inch uh, beads of caulking, uh, maybe spaced about six inches apart, not the entire length, but uh, maybe six to 12 inches apart, just a few attaching points uh, of caulking just to maintain uh, the attachment and uh, so it won't come off in the future. And it'll still re remain flexible and it'll move uh, with both uh, expansion with the heat and contraction with the cold during the, uh, the seasons. So uh, let me get started with that. I'm gonna make that, that cut and you'll be able to see uh, where and why I'm cutting it and then you'll, you'll see the attachment point and it'll all come together and make perfect sense. Very easy to do and uh, hopefully this, uh, this will help you make your uh, your outside corner repair is a little easier. Okay guys, now I'm back to show you where I'm gonna be making my cuts. What I did was I turned over the entire corner, the outside corner piece of vinyl siding, and I'm going to be making my cut where I suggested earlier when it was turned the other way, along this entire line, and I'll show you. So basically where the blade is, it's gonna be running the entire inside corner. And by doing so, removing this entire, I guess, J, the entire J in the J channel. And, uh, and I'm still maintaining from where my thumb is inward this way is all gonna be that U is going to be, which is now upside down, uh, is going to be maintained to uh, attach for the attachment point on the, on the home. So this is all from where my thumb is outward being cut off. So you have to maintain, and the closer you get to the inside corner with the cut, the better because anything left remaining past the edge of this, of this uh, upside down U, anything left this way going towards my right will get in the way. It'll just make the, uh, the attachment point more difficult and make it stick out a little bit. So we wanna get really tight inside this corner, really where, the, where my razor's lined up. You wanna make it all the way down both sides. And I'm gonna do that now. So I'm going to start by getting a, a sharp razor and running a line inside, puncturing through and then bringing it to my right and try to make a nice smooth stroke and again keeping as close to that portion of the uh, upside down U that I suggested. to the right and I'm going to cut again to the left. And I'm going to cut
cut it all off and then I'll show you what's remaining, what's being discarded and what's being used. And It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be close enough so that the existing, the existing channel, and this is what we discarded. Like I said, I was gonna be cutting off that existing part of the J. Okay, so we discard that. And what we're left with on this side, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, is this U. As you can see here, the upside down U, that is going to attach to the existing, uh, J channel that's on the house. So I'm gonna do the same thing now. You don't need to see me cut again on the other side and then I'll show you uh, how we attach. Okay guys, I am back to finish the job of putting this outside corner piece of vinyl siding on my house. Uh, you may notice that I am dressed differently and the weather is extremely different than it was the last time we uh, started the process. I was called away so I wanted to finish the job and actually capture it for you guys uh, from beginning to completion. So let's, let's take uh, off where I left off. And uh, where I left off was cutting the, the edges of the J channel off of the existing outside corner. Uh, so it would, I'd have to modify it in order to attach it to the existing um, vinyl siding that's on the house now. Uh, and I already showed you the process, what was needed to do in order to, uh, in order to do so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm left with all clean edges. I have the existing U, and I'll show you in the camera. I have the existing U's on both sides here, you can see, and here. And I trimmed off as close as possible to that bottom edge so it will, without being, um, without affecting uh, and, and uh, adversely affecting my ability to put on uh, onto the house itself. Let me pull you back to the house. What's going to happen is that U that U is going to go around this portion right here, all the way from top to the bottom. It's going to attach in, I'm going to press it in, it's gonna go, and then I'm gonna wrap it and do the same thing on the other side. I'll probably start my left side, and then I'll go to the right side, attaching those, those U's that you saw, and it's gonna be a perfect fit. It's gonna be a machine fit. Now, and again, like I mentioned when I started the video, the reason I'm doing this in this fashion is otherwise, if I didn't do if I didn't modify both the inside corner of the existing vinyl siding and the outside corner I bought to put over this, I would have to take off all this vinyl siding and all the vinyl siding to my left, which is right there. So in order to avoid doing that, I am modifying the outside corner that I purchased. When a house is sided, the first things to go on a house are the outside corners and the inside corners and in between they fill they fill in with vinyl siding so since the house is already sided and we had a damaged piece that needed repair i didn't want to take off all this vinyl siding and all that vinyl siding so let's finish the job and let me get the uh the outside corner on and you'll see what we uh what the finished product looks like okay guys i have the uh the modified outside corner and there's one last thing to do actually two last things to do we're going to have some caulking. I'm gonna use some caulk in order to attach it so when it dries, it'll have a better attachment to the house. Even though it's gonna be a machine fit, the, uh, this outside U uh, fitting into the, uh, the existing uh, portion of the J channel I cut off from the vinyl siding, um, I'm going to use some vinyl siding and maybe every 12 inches I'll put maybe three inches and, uh, and on both sides. And then what I'm gonna do, let me just show you where I'm doing it. I'm pulling this up. As so, pulling that flap up, that little upside down U, and I'm going to be just tacking, tacking some vinyl siding in there. And every few inches, just to an attachment. Oops. Every few inches. And it doesn't make a difference if it's inside. Anything on the outside I'll wipe off. Just put about three inches.
it's a little bit difficult to get your finger under there and squeeze the, the cork. I think you get the idea. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Okay guys, uh, now that I've corked the inside portion of both sides, and you can see the cork is inside the seam, I'm going to be, and you'll see this is all coming together now. See these seams? They're going to be wrapping around this the entire length and then pulling back over and wrapping around here that's going to be our our press fit and the the uh cork is going to help as an, adhe an adhesive and uh which is great because it still it still has flexibility for uh both expansion and contraction in the heat and the cold so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by just getting inside this channel on the top and it's a little awkward, so I ask you to forgive me, but it's going to wrap. And I'm just pressing it in underneath here to make sure it's in the right channels, and I believe it is all the way. And then I'm gonna pull it over and do the same thing with that pressure fit. Make sure you have to double check that it's in those channels. Okay. Sometimes having a second person is helpful, but uh, we'll make do. And again, the, the cork is going to help as an adhesive. And you can always repress as you're going up and down. Okay. And that, my friends, as I reach this, again, you're gonna to wanna to reposition this. The cork is still wet, so you have time to, to work with positioning. But as it dries, it's going to be fairly permanent. You're not gonna to wanna to do any modifications after the cork starts to cure. So let me just make sure that I'm comfortable with the position. And as intended and designed, there we go, the finished product. Give it a wipe down, some Windex, some soap and water, uh, and we'll, um, we'll be good to go. Let's get a corner perspective to see if there's lines straight forward from the corner, up and down. And that's the finished product, guys. It took a lot less time. It cost me $25 for the corner piece and uh, did not have to rip the siding off of the right side and the left side, thus saving um, time and potentially money because once we start removing siding from the house, it's been on there for a number of years, it's brittle, it could uh, crack, um, break, tear, and thus having to spend more money on replacing the vinyl siding that you were taking off. So thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And hopefully uh, in the very near future, we can have something else for you that will hopefully be uh, equally helpful and uh, make your job easier for these little odd jobs around the house that we all have. Thanks again and have a great day, guys.